Good evening, my brothers and sisters. Good evening. Good evening. I pray y'all are doing well as we off top. Give the most high all the honor, the glory, and all praise and worship. Y'all remember not too long ago, uh, we talked about demons, unclean spirits when they seek in their home. And we was coming from Matthew chapter 12. And a question that was brought to me earlier about how is it when the demons, they, they leave, how are they able to come back? <laughs> it's not a dumb question at all. Very great question. And this is why I talk about renewing the mind so much and studying the word. The old folk would say a devil mind or uh, idle mind is the devil's workshop. That's how they would say it. Or they would say the idle mind is the devil's playground. And when you get around Matthew 12 and looking at verses 43, 44, 45 on down, it's teaching you, the Bible is teaching us that these unclean spirits, the Bible always say test the spirits by the spirit to see if they are of the most high. So when these evil, demonic, unclean spirits, when they leave a person, it goes through dry places and wonders, looking for a place to rest. But it doesn't find any. So when it doesn't find any, like we said the other day, when, that, when them demons leave that person and they wander off through the dry places looking for a place to rest, and they can't find no other place to rest. When they come back to that person, when they come back, teach Holy Spirit. They bring back seven other spirits, more evil than the one they had. And they make a home there. So the Bible say that, that person is worse off than they was in the beginning than they was when they started out. You are worse than the end that you was in the beginning. And notice what he said. That's the way it's going to be for this evil generation. So when you ask the question, oh, they got the demons cast out of them. They come back because you have nothing to fill that up with. You have no Holy Spirit to fight it off. That's why they're able to come back. They leave and they come back with seven other spirits, more evil than you was from the beginning. So this is why we talk so much about pornography, getting drunk, hoeing around, soul ties. You name it. Like I told, I told a young woman earlier um, this morning at work. When a man lay with you, he ain't just you. Just think you having sex, but it, it's it's a proven fact that it goes to your mind. Why you think a man is able to mess a woman's mind up so bad? It ain't just sex. It went to your head. Why you was giving some head? It went to your head. No, I'm just gonna be blunt. While you open up them legs, it went to your head. It traveled. And you sit up to my own, I don't know why I'm acting this way, why I'm fitting this way. Well, he got me. He, same thing happened with a lot of men when they get with these women. That they, they, man, these women, these soul ties, these, they're seen when it's traveling. But the man that produces the, the sperm, when, when, we, when we release inside of a woman, ladies, it's more than sex. Now, think about when you get drunk and have sex. I told y'all the battle of pornography, how pornography messes up your mind so hard. Take you to that, man, you don't want to go down that road. You can't think right. You can't function right. You messed up all the way. Those demons love to come through drunkenness, getting high. You name it. Because Satan is the prince of the power of the air. He moves through all forms of communication. Why you think 
the, the internet, you can see anything you want. Why do you think the cell phones are so dangerous? Why do you think the video games became so dangerous for the kids? Why do you think movies are so violent? Or a lot of stuff that you see, that's the devil. He moves through all forms of communication. You can even be reading a book. So once again, yeah, you, you, you like you said in the email, my brothers and sisters, yeah, those demons were cast out, but why were they able to, why, why, how were they able to come back? If you don't study, if you don't have on the whole armor, you don't renew their mind, you don't have nothing to fight with, those demons will leave you and return right back to you seven more. Now you can take that to the bank. That's scripture. That's why you see so many people. I'm looking at his brother today, man, brother on the corner just fighting with himself, talking to himself, and he's looking in every direction, shaking. That's them demons. He was drinking too, of course. He could have been drunk and how, but them demons was, man, them demons was talking to him. See, a lot of people see that stuff and don't believe that these demons are real. So once again, when they leave, go to Matthew chapter 12, you think I'm lying. Look at those verses I just told you. And look at what that look at what them demons do they when they when they leave, and then look how they return right back to the same person that they left. Stronger than ever. How do you think that man in the Bible, Legion, we are many? That man was pretty much standing by in the graveyard, carving on himself. He said, Legion, we are many. How do you think it got to that many? And that was a whole lot. And it make you ask the question, did they ever leave? Or what did they keep leaving? Because how was he able to get that many demons in him? I leave on that note. Y'all already know that. So. Shalom, family.